Hi guys, it's Steve from ADVRider.life What I thought I'd show you today is just uh, something that I take with me on pretty much every camping trip whether that's in uh, somewhere that we've booked or, or actual wild camping somewhere um, and, and this is one of my kind of cooking kits at the moment it's quite a, a basic one but I like to travel light and not carry too much things with me um, I put it in one of these packing cubes from Eagle Creek I do various different sizes uh, and it's great for packing clothes, rolling them up and putting them in there and using it for other bits and pieces that uh, you want to take along with you but you don't want to just stuff it into the bottom of your bag and then wonder where the hell has it gone so let's take a look inside So as I said, it's quite a basic um, kit is this, but with a few more of these additional um, freeze-dried food packs that I'll go into more detail in a bit, uh, you can actually get by quite easily with this um, if you're wild camping. So one of your main things that you're going to need when you're off wild camping is you're going to need some water. Now if you're carrying some water in a bottle with you, that's great. If not, uh, I have uh, one of these uh, made by Katadin, uh, it's a bee free water bottle so this water bottle in particular is a one litre water bottle uh, and it basically acts like a filter so inside there is your filter with all kinds of fibers and all sorts of things that catches any nasty stuff that's coming out of um, coming out of the water now you're only supposed to use this in sort of fast flowing uh, water that you know looks relatively clean uh, generally I've used it in stuff that you would almost you know get in there and, and have a drink out of it anyway but what this does is it just makes sure that there is actually nothing really bad in there that's going to uh, that's going to affect you so once you've been off to the stream and you've got yourself some um, some water uh, you can come back and you squeeze it out uh, and put it into um, the jet boil I've got a micro mo here which is the smaller uh, of the jet boils um, and I get by just just fine uh, with this I'll show you how this works in a second the other thing that I've got is I've got a Sea to Summit um, aluminium uh, long spark, I guess it's called. Uh, and this is really for when you're eating out of freeze dried packets like this, you can get in there without actually putting your hands in there and getting food all over your hands, which you don't really want to be doing when you're camping. Uh, and then the last thing that I've got on here is um, these cool little collapsible cups from uh, Snug Pack. If you're not familiar with snook packs, snook pack are uh, very well known for uh, wild camping gear, uh, sleeping bags and tents and all sorts of all sorts of stuff gear they do. Uh, but these are cool because they're so small and you just fold it out and you've got yourself a nice cup. But again, it's tiny, doesn't take up much room. I've got a couple in there and it all fits into the pack quite nicely. So just talk a little bit about these uh, something to eat food packs, freeze dried packs. Uh, I came across these at, uh, in a, I think it was an outdoor uh, exhibition in Birmingham that I went to last year. These guys were there. Um, and we've got a kind of free, uh, free samples to, to try out. Now these are for, um, you know, people climbing around and doing big expeditions and all that kind of stuff. But they are so easy to use and they're, they're so filling as well. So if you're at the end of the day, you've been riding all day, get to uh, campsite or you get to side of a lake if you're well camping whatever um, there's actually 601 calories in this and it's super easy to make I'm going to show you how to do that now easy as that. The great thing about the jet boil is they really are fast. So crank it up, get that water boiling. Now to actually make these you need to put in uh, 280 ml of boiling water uh, and the great thing about the jet boil is actually got measurements inside the cup so I've just poured in 
um, just over 280 mil there. So once this is boiling, we'll bang it in. First thing to do with these is take out the little oxygen pouch, which looks like this. You don't want to leave that in there. What these also give you as well, and I don't, you probably won't be able to see them, but inside there is some little lines, which basically gives you an idea of where the fill line is that you need to put on there. So you, you can do your measurement in there, but you can also do your measurement in there as well. So I think we are almost ready. And there we go, so the jet boil doesn't take long, only a couple of minutes, and we have now got boiling hot water. Do is we'll just turn that down, turn it off. There we go. This section at the bottom here stays really cool. I'm not quite sure how they've done that. It's some kind of metal or something, but it um, it's not hot, so you can actually move things around quite easily. Also, if you position this lid on properly, which I didn't do, but I have done now, you can use it as a, as a good pourer to get the actual liquid out. So, here goes. So there we go, got his water in there. So the next thing to do is seal this up. Seal it up like that with the water inside and leave it for, I think it's about um, eight minutes. So while we're uh, waiting for the eight minutes for that to go, um, what I will show you is show you a couple of these things. I'll just show you um, new order that I just got from uh, something to eat. Uh, with some new meals in here because I have a wild camping trip coming up very soon. Just so you can get an idea of uh, some of the other meals that, that you can get from there. So let's take a look. So we've got Morning oats with raspberry, nice. Scrambled egg with cheese. Pasta bolognese, I've had this one quite a few times, very nice. Salmon and broccoli pasta. Chicken fajita with rice. Beef stew with potatoes. Chicken tikka with rice. Macaroni cheese, rice pudding with strawberry, and custard, custard apple crunch. Uh, so some great meals there. Um, get them in your panniers, get them in your top box, uh, and uh, off you go. Uh, I will just say that I'm not sponsored by Summit Tweet or anything like that. It's just what I prefer to take with me um, when I go on my trips. Because with some of these freeze-dried foods that I've found is that they want you to actually place the packet into, you, you know, your container, or jet boil or something like that. But sometimes these containers are quite big and it's not always that easy to do. I prefer to just, you know, take the top off, pour the water in, wait, get it eaten and then, you know, scrunch it up, put it in a little plastic bag and throw it into a bin when you, uh, when you next come across them. So once those um, eight minutes have gone by, you can uh, open up the pouch again. 
give it another quick stir inside um, and dig in spot on you've been riding all day and you get somewhere you just need something to eat to fill you up so you can go go to sleep happy these things are spot on <laughs>